Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is use the Google API Explorer and have a look at drive.files.list. We're going to be focusing on two parameters, which are the queue parameter and the fields parameter. And for the queue parameter, there's a bit of Google documentation that might help you understand this or figure this out. And for this particular uh, video, we're going to be using the full text field. Now back at the API Explorer, we're going to put in our query. And we're going to go ahead and put in our fields. In this case, we're going to narrow down our response results to only two fields. And those two fields will be description and title. And once executed, you can see at the bottom that we have return results for title and description. So doing this first in API Explorer will give you a good idea that you're doing it correctly. And will also allow you to see the response results. In previous videos, we put together an app that uses the Blogger API to do a Blogger search. And in this video, we're going to extend that a little bit further by putting in a scope that allows us to use the Drive API. From here, we can open up Chrome and the JavaScript console and start to test our API using JavaScript with just a few lines of code. An authorization is required in this case, we're using OAuth 2, which we covered in previous videos. You can see that the code we're using here in the console is similar to what we saw in the Google API Explorer. We can see here that an object was returned to us when we executed the request. Now we're going to just extract the title from one of the results. And you can see that what's given to us is file api.html, which is in fact the title of the file. In our next videos, we'll be covering more aspects of the Google Drive API. In the meantime, you could check out some of our other videos on the subject of blogger APIs and YouTube APIs.